Hey guys, thanks for coming back. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started on the layout. Now I've done this. I've looked up Holy Grail, Grail Liquid Layout because I know for a fact that that's one of the layouts this guy has. And I found this one column layout. Now the only problem is my internet connection is very spotty where I'm at. So uh, for some reason it's just not even hooked up right now. So it's kind of hard for me to do anything on there. Yeah, as you can see, I've actually got no connectivity to the internet. But I did manage to get this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on this page and I'm going to collect view page source. So I'm going to leave a link in the uh, description down below and if I neglect to leave, leave that link please leave a comment and uh, the first comment I'll leave the link if I've forgotten. But I'm doing this whole series uh, all at one shot and then I'm going to upload it. So in the, in the event that I forget it. So anyway, you, you click View Page Source, and then you're going to want to hit Edit, Select All, and we're going to copy everything, so just like that. And then once you've copied it, you can close the, the Edit portion of that, now uh, or the View Source portion. Now you're going to go into Notepad++, and you're going to open a new document. You're going to paste it in, which I've already done. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save this file into your HT docs of your XAMP. So you're going to navigate to your C drive to XAMP and then once you're in C XAMP, well, let me go all the way up to C just just to demonstrate. You're going to find XAMP and then you're going to find HT docs. And this is going to be your document uh, root of your XAMP. So we're going to build this in a directory and I'm going to call this directory groceries. Now, had I not had this up here, you would just click this button here, create new folder, and you would call that folder groceries. Then you'll open up this folder, and you're going to save this file as index.html. Actually, you know what? You're going to save it as index.php, not HTML at all, because we're going to need PHP to be present for us to do what we want to do in this. So we're going to go ahead and save that as index.php. So this is what I'm showing right now. So what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to get rid of this, uh, all this stuff here that uh, demonstrates what the page is about. And I'm just going to go down to, let me go back into my notepad++. I'm going to look through here. All right, at first I see all the CSS that he's put into that file right there. So I'm going to go with the div class column one, column one start, and uh, anything between that div class I'm going to take out except for the comments. So let's just drop all of this oops, run back from the comments of uh, column one start to column one end. In between that, we're just going to take that out so we have that, and I'm just going to put hello as a placeholder. All right, I'm going to save, and then I'm going to go back into my browser. Now, in my browser, you notice that I put localhost groceries in order to get to this page. And now that I've done that, I can see I've got a hello here. That's my placeholder. All of this stuff we'll deal with later, but for right now, we're just going to use this layout in order to uh, start making our uh, code that will read out our grocery list and this will work across your cell phone, your computer desktop, uh, your tablet, anything you want to use it on. Look for the playlist on the right hand side of my channel if you're not already in it and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.